Hi and welcome to Flash Game Friday. Today we're looking at a different idle game to last week. This is Big Dig Treasure Clickers by Mouse Breaker. It is a considerably better game. Now I have played this on a different computer so I'm just going to go through this. But basically you start off with this which is really boring and you know meh. Thankfully, the mu the game has no music because it would be painful to play with music. It, mostly because the opening music is about the same three or four seconds of music over and over and over and over. Red means there's something big down there. Yay! Okay, so you you scan, which is cool, I guess. Yay! I got a very old coin. Level cleared, and you go to the town, and you basically buy stuff. Okay, I want to buy an automatic metal detector. That's literally all I can afford. Go back to the dig, and it does this automatically, which is great. It's also excruciatingly slow to begin with. And this is actually pretty standard for a idle game of its type. Yes, I did just find an old boot. Which, believe it or not, in this game is actually a type of uh, uh, coinage. Basically, you can use them to buy upgrades. Which I, it does sound really weird even to me. But it's not bad. I mean, Oh, yay, I got a festival wristband. And these are what you're playing this game for. These are how you basically level, you basically sell these, you get decent amounts of money for them. So example, I go to the town and I got $21 for it, yay. Now, if you go here and click on the museum, you can see the, the items that you've discovered. You can talk to this one and um, you know, you basically gather money, give it to her, you open other digs, you can hire um, uh, diggers, which is cool. You can buy upgrades, which is also cool. Um, let's see, what, what can we do? Actually, I'll buy a second digger. You've seen basically how the upgrades work. Okay, so you hire an assistant and you go back to the dig and They, the assistants only dig these red ones, which is actually kind of cool because it's the most, they're the ones that you're actually going to want to bother with. And what makes this slightly different to most idle games, at least in my experience, is you spend about 10 minutes at the start of your playthrough actually doing something. Ah, oh, I found a broken tablet, yay. And you go down another, another level. Keep on going and on and on. There we go on another level. Now, one of the things you're not going to notice here particularly is that the these areas actually get smaller the deeper you go. So there is this really odd use of perspective in the game that I really, really like. I mean, it's it's a really silly little idle game that is at least a little bit more involved than uh, Idle Planet Defender. Not immensely so, but a little bit more. And it's quite nice. I mean, it's simple. And like, you can see there, the little bit of music and there's nothing extraordinary about this game. It's just a fun, silly little idle game. But it's actually fun because there's a slight sense of accomplishment when you actually do something in this game. You don't have to get personally involved. You can let this just run in the background and, you know, make your fortune as an archaeologist who isn't Indiana Jones. 
heading to town. Okay, and I got $41 for that, which is great. That gives me 97. Now, you see this guy here. He's who you sell your boots to. And, like, five boots gets you a stick of dynamite, which is actually kind of cool. I'll get one of those. And we go in here to the pub. And you talk to this guy, and as you can see, you can upgrade his abilities. So we'll very quickly go back to the Berkshire dig. Or I could just do that. And now you have a dinosaur. You get one dinosaur per dig area, dig location. Ooh, it's a Furby! There we go. Pretty simple. All right, back to town. Come on. There we go. Oh, and actually, it's an original Furby, so it's one of the really freaky ones. Go into the pub, talk to your digger, and there we go. I've increased his stamina. And they those pretty much do those um, stats pretty much do exactly what they say I mean the dig speed is how quickly they dig the sleepiness is how often they need to sleep maximum stamina stamina is I think it's mostly influences how often they sleep as opposed whereas sleepy defines how long they sleep for which is kind of cool and uh, is there anything there I can buy I can upgrade my hand scan okay and these can be upgraded multiple times. As you can see here with the uh, with the, the metal detector, there are six slots, and you can upgrade it five times. So, yeah, that's basically this game. I mean, that's what it is in a hand in in a nutshell. It's a nice, simple little flash game, idle flash game that is at least a little rewarding. It's certainly nowhere near as boring as uh, Flash I Idle Planet Defender, which is an incredibly boring game. Uh, so yeah, I have to say I thoroughly, I, act I, I do have to admit, I actually really enjoy this game. Oh, very quickly, the dinosaur bones. When you get, does that dinosaur have a penis? Okay, uh, right. When you get the full dinosaur skeleton, you get the option to f upgrade one of your diggers. And it's actually quite a big upgrade. It's the best way of kind of maxing out their capabilities, which is kind of cool. It's good fun. It's, as I said, it's a little rewarding. And yeah, I think you can actually see, yeah, you can definitely see it there the box gets smaller the further down you get and I don't know I, I kind of like this game I, I mean it's dumb but I really really enjoy it I shouldn't but I do I don't really know why I do but I, oh I like that sound effect <laughs> anyway, yes, so uh, what grade would I give this? I'd give it 3 out of 5. I mean, you're going to get bored of it f reasonably quickly. It's n it's nothing special. It's an idle game. Uh, it's it's going to be an idle game that will keep you entertained for probably a day at work, if nothing, more, if nothing else. Uh, Is it silly? Yeah, it's really silly. It's really, it's a really dumb game, but enjoyable despite that. So, yeah, three out of five for me to bump it out up even one notch. Um, probably some really simple music that isn't a five or six second sting replayed over and over would be nice. Uh, other than that, I'm not really sure what else you could do with this to make it a better game, because it is what it is. So yeah, there we go. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye!